Welcome to breaking news today. The like button and if you're new make sure they hit that subscribe button down below and turn on my post. Breaking, North Korea just made move on America. Here's what we know. After North Koreans heard from their state-run media, propaganda, that Donald Trump had said some harsh things about life in the isolated nation, they fired back. And many believe Trump will ignite a war between the United States and their own country. In a speech on Wednesday, President Trump called the isolated communist country a hell that no person deserves. But the rebuttal from North Koreans was equally harsh. One woman, who CNN spoke to on the streets of Pyongyang called Trump's assertion foolish, absurd, and another word CNN claims they cannot print. The reality here is very different. We're leading a happy life, Ri Yonghui, a housewife in Pyongyang, told CNN. North Korean state media reported that Trump had spoken on Thursday, but did not include concrete details of his speech, in which the president slammed Pyongyang's human rights abuses. The North Korean state newspaper Rodong Sinmun characterized Trump's words as garbage spewing like gunpowder out of Trump's snout like garbage that reeks of gunpowder to ignite war. Coverage on state television and in newspapers focused on a small number of protesters outside the National Assembly, despite the fact that they were outnumbered by those rallying in support of the U.S. president. CNN Trump has no right to talk about human rights, Riz said, as the government minders translated for her. He's a simple war maniac. Not many citizens would communicate with CNN in North Korea. Most people in Pyongyang are effectively sealed off from the outside world. They're only able to access government-approved propaganda, as the North Korean leadership blocks foreign media and levies harsh punishments to those who smuggle or view content they deem inappropriate. That all begs the question, if North Koreans are sealed off and afraid to speak to reporters, would they simply lie to CNN protect themselves? CNN even admitted that that was likely what happened. The presence of our official escorts meant that even if anyone we spoke held differing views, they would likely only reiterate the same talking points as North Korea's leaders out of fear of punishment. Ri Won Gil, an editor at publishing company, unrelated and unacquainted to Ri Yong Hui, also called Trump a maniac. That's not a coincidence considering the state propaganda calls him a maniac all the time. Ri told CNN Trump was a fool a maniac and the only response to what he is saying is to give him a good beating with a stick. Trump, knows nothing at all about North Korea and in general about the Korean nation, Ri said. He has no common sense or knowledge about what we are. He may have said some things, but we don't really care. We have our own national economy which was carved out and developed by the previous leaders and is being continuously built by the current leader.